Greetings, ladies and gentlemen players. It's another wonderful Friday this January of 2023, making it a wonderful day for basics. And as you can see over there, I'm going to get myself a DDK game because last month and the month before it, we were predominantly concentrating on the Don players. Yep, that's what we were doing. Though we have one to warn, even though we are concentrating on the DDK players for today, I will say that Don players could probably get something from this as well. Just saying. Just saying. Just like you can get something from my Patreon, whether you just want your name in the videos at the end of the credits, or if you want to throw me a game once a month, I have been purging my declined patrons who've been sitting there, some of them as far back as 2016, giving rise to or giving availability to more people able to use that tier. Or if you wanted to go ahead and get in my review packs, which I put out every month. December's is on the way, by the way. Those of you who are waiting on it. Or maybe you just want one less than a month. Maybe you want to get into my group classes, which I cannot recommend enough. Or maybe you're a millionaire who loves Go and you want to do your patriotic duty to the channel to sign up for my $2,000 a month tier. <laughs> uh, that one's staying empty forever, let me tell you. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, my uh, Patreon's got you covered. There's probably a tier for you. Check it out. Support the channel. These videos are produced because of all y'all. You know, I've never really noticed how much that it doesn't really make any sense on how the uh, games list is populated here on OGS. Why isn't this by rank? We have a 9k here, a 1 Don here, a 3k here, a question mark, 6k, 3k, got a 3 Don down here. Like, I don't understand that. That's weird, yo. Game started. Oh my god, we got a game. I was on the verge of giving up. All right, so... Got ourselves a 9Q. Yeah, I figured the person who accepted knows uh, who I am. I had to switch because I switched to uh, Dwyer and thinking maybe I can get a game that way because I was waiting for 20 minutes on Elodin. So yeah, <laughs> it was a uh, hmm. It was a bit of a hmm. But we have a double 4-4 four four versus 4-4-3-4. Four four four. Close enough to DDK, it probably doesn't make no difference. The same principles will be applied to the 9Q that we would apply anywhere else. But as right now, we have a choice. We could go and block because there's an extent or an enclosure. We can block the extension or we can uh, prevent the other enclosure by approaching that one. These are both completely fine. I will choose to do that one, and I will highlight that this is now a big move. Hmm. The diagonal is not necessarily bad, because same as if I had approached low and he kicked me, and the kick is technically okay, but I'm going to say it's still kind of bad, because it's really slow, and meh, I'm not a fan of it. I have a hunch you don't even actually have to respond to that move if you don't want to. Now, he didn't Finish the Jiseki by extending. So in the back of our head, we could be like, okay, I want Sente because there's a thing he didn't play. So I'm going to go ahead and be like, well, I could contest this because I mentioned the thing. There's the, there's the move right there. But there's a pretty big one over here too. So we're going to go ahead. And uh, obviously, prioritize the Sente. He just asked, is this going to be a basics video? Uh, well, yeah, dude, it is. So we are going to rip your moves to pieces. Aggressively. Like, you might be crying at the end of the video. That's all I'm going to say. So we follow up over like so. New move that we want to play potentially is a Wublam. Or maybe a Wublonk. Because this threatens to invade or live. This threatens to go under or come out or go over. So either or we don't care. Influence detected, obviously, big move, is the enclosure. 
we will throw down like so. That is a death because I can Atari and then Atari. And I think his entire corner dies. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll be gentle. I seen y'all DDK's play. Don't even say that you would definitely have spotted that one because I know sometimes you don't. I know you don't. I seen it. Now we could play some kind of completely crazy shape move here that kind of defend both at once. It's kind of weird, but we don't really play shape moves like this very much these days. So I'll go ahead and just do a wablam. Yeah, this year I'm trying to get all the patrons I can get because I've got a lot that I want to do this year. Go Congress is going to be in Ohio this year, so I think I, I'm required by law to attend. So that's going to be that's going to be pricey. And then what else we got? I would like to go to Japan this year and start recording some of those videos that I had in mind. And so that's a bit pricey. And I also want to get out of this stupid apartment that is a piece of complete, utter garbage. So that's going to be pricey. All right. Um, pincering here is fine because I have the influence. You can make a good argument that, yeah, we're pincering here because influence. So influence with influence. And we have a corner here, so we're fine. Corner here, influence, influence. We're doing good. You can back off here high or low as well if you want to. I mean, that's also fine. It's hard to find a bad move right now. Um, tell you what, I'll, I'll pincer, why not? I don't do the pincering enough. I always do the whole backing off thing. Now, going into the corner is the only move really playable here because jump outs are not very good uh, on the whole 4 4 thing. It is Mui No Buenos. But we'll see what he wants to do. All right, he's going in. We will play as the Joseki, which gives me the Sentai. Now, I could play uh, B15 for... Oh, hello. Uh, that should be Hane into a jump. This is eh, a little bit of a mistake. Yeah, a little bit of a mistake. It's, it's, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, you see a lot of these little little mistakey doodads uh, being played at the DDK level. But I was going to say I, I want to drop down here, but it might be Sentai form because this is technically a uh, little Carpenter Square. <laughs> the 9Q to get Carpenter, right? So if I get Sentai, I might just go ahead and do a one point jump to like C13 instead. Turn's pretty big. I can't kill him, but it's still a big turn. Because right now, my influence only goes this way, right? Like it goes bong, 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 like radiates here. But if I turn, then it's also going bong, bong, bong. So I want to turn, but the right is becoming very, very big. And remember, we still had uh, those two points that I mentioned, right? So let's go ahead and just do... That one, that was the first one I played on the board, so it's one I'll put on the on right now. So kick is expected, and then extend, and maybe a pincer or a cap. Kick to make sure I can't go under. And then either pressure or defense. Either or is fine. If you wanted to be a sneaky little snake, you could play here. Before playing the Gote move. All right, um, I'm gonna play the Hane first, and then just control the shape. If you want to just jump out, that's fine too. Some people are always like, but what if they do this instead? It's like, what? If they do what? This? If they kill off their other stones, that's fine by me. Fine by me. Not an issue, right? Let's go and extend, getting out of the attack zone. New invasion points are Yablamos and the Turning Times. 
and technically the drop down over here are all the big moves. Oh, Atari into Hane. Easy defense. Just make sure I'm not under attack anymore. The person attacking me is taking damage. If we just connect it here and let him go out, then he kind of grows again. Don't want to do that. If he goes there, we can easily defend here. This isn't really a problem. Right now it works, but, 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 but. It is fine. Because we can still go ahead and play this one. Into uh, things like this, or things like this. A lot we can do here. Or just extend. He just wants to build the corner. That's okay, but it's a little passive. Is that the cutting point? That lets me Han it head of two and three. Just like so. Han it the head of two and three stones. But what about all the corner territory you're giving him, sir? It's fine. I got corner territory, too. He's got more, though. Okay, fine. There. What's bigger? That or that? What's bigger? That or that? You know which one's bigger. You know, you know, you know. Don't try to say that you don't. All right, big moves are still there and there. That's true. That's very, very passive. So at this point, I'm kind of wondering if maybe he's a little bit scared of me because I'm, you know, big scary to iron and he knows who I am. I will play as if it doesn't matter. I want to play a big move. Because there's a shoulder hit that he still has against me. Now he doesn't. This is probably risky to play, but there's still a three space and there's an out and an under, so it could be playable. I'll leave it on the board. That has not gone away. Oh, I am not big scary Dwyer and I lied. I'm sorry. So we don't do this because Bop, Hane, Atari, and then Atari, and a whole bunch of other weird, disgusting stuff. Instead, we throw text. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. Just make sure that you don't uh, do anything dumb, right? Just make sure you don't do anything dumb. Bop into bop. Just like so. Just defend yourself. And now he's got to worry about his shape. Like, I'm worried about my shape, but what about yours? What about yours? What about your? Oh, that's a small night. So it's connect-ish. Like, I, uh, maybe I can't, like, cut it right now, but it's okay. So one thing that I saw as a criticism, believe it or not, in one of my Don games is I cut a small knight, and someone argued that was complicated. But it isn't. Every time you put up a small knight, Small knight can be cut, so you have to ask yourself, does the direct cut work? Uh, there, there, and so there. Uh, it looks kind of weird. Why is it weird? I don't have anything nearby, so I don't know where the fight's going to go. Okay, then. Now I do. Small knight, maybe you don't cut through it directly because you don't know where the stone's going to go because it's going to be weak. Bam! Like, why wouldn't I play it? It's just a free move for me. So let's go ahead and do something like that. You can see that I'm making territory here. Off the uh, left hand side. Play the force move, threaten to cut through, small knight, and then we'll blam. Now things like this turn are becoming huge because all of this is slowly falling to me. That I Killing it would be bad. This is a B6 we do not kill in the B6. But we could. We don't kill a 9Q. 
Mm, that'd be good. All right, so two choices. I could pincer, have him jump off and be like, I'm only playing probing moves. I'm curious to see what he does. Oh, he died. Well, I didn't know he was going to drop dead on me. How was I supposed to know? I'm not a mind reader. Um, instead, we're just going to keep him out of the area that we're obviously growing. Because the middle is worth more than enough to win. Yeah, we could be like, well, I'm just going to see how he intends to live. And be like, well, I don't want him connecting anywhere, so I'm going to just go ahead and disconnect him. And then be like, well, I mean, he doesn't seem to have any eyes, so I'll just ask how he intends to live. And then be like, well, he's a stick, I guess he's dead, it's not my fault. Like, we could, we, I, I mean, I could do that, I could do that, right? I've done it before. <laughs> I've done it before in this series. Been like, I don't know. I'm just asking questions. Oh, Christ, he's dying here too. Um. Alright, I'm gonna... So normally I would probably surround this way. And then if he tried to do anything here, we'd probably just kill him. Because, yeah, this, I think this just dies. But right now I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna push him out. He can go here and then I'll like do this and it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. No reason to kill, no reason to kill, no reason to kill. You totally could. Two space extension is not alive. Let let let's uh let's be real about that. Is it two space extension? Eh, not alive. You could cut me if you wanted to, that'd be also a thing that you could do. Because if you cut me here, I defend, then there, 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 there. It's alive. I can't think about it. I'd be like, well, I guess I'm just gonna go have to console myself with the entire middle of the board. Uh, Sag. Okay, this is how you die. He's not alive here, and he's trying to break in. I predict... I predict a nice, bright future as a 6 Don. For this player. It's like not protecting your group and trying to go ahead and do something else? That's the spirit. But yeah, we're cutting that off. Sorry. This area is mine. <laughs> Sign up front should have told you. How do you know you can cut through here? Because it's a small night. Again, I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot. It's like, but I don't know you can cut through small knights. I had no idea this was a cut point. It's it's a small knight. Like, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? It's a small knight. I can cut the small knight. I'm strong in the area. There's a small knight. I can cut it. If you don't know that that's a thing that you can do, then I, I can see why you're having troubles. But that's what you need to work on, you know? While we're at it, let's go ahead and threaten to cut him through here. Say, hey, look at that, another small knight. Because so I can go... Um... Not that. And be like, bam! And then that goes here, and this goes, like... Here. So that'd be dead. Alright, so that's dead. If I cut that, he dies. I think that mark is gone now. Um, the Hane is pretty important because this group's still not alive. So technically this is a big move. This has got endgame potential, I guess. Uh, diagonal to small knight. Now if I play here, 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 as double Tari. So now he's really dead if I play it. Let's see if I can't reinforce it and uh, prevent him from dying here. Nice. Or why not? Play the high too. Interesting. Offer of Atari into Atari into reduction in the corner, maybe? No reason to take it. 
No reason to take it though, it's fine. But yeah, that's game. Because the middle is stupidly huge. Got corner. Uh, ungodly amounts of middle, like one, two, three, four, five, six line territory throughout who knows how much. He has a decent upper right hand corner. I'll give that a good old nodders. But it's too much. And we didn't kill him. I mean, obviously, I can. Repeatedly. We're able to do it here. We're able to do it here. But there's no reason to. So you don't have to. If you found, if you found those moves in your game and you can kill your opponent, great. You're ahead of the curve then. Is there not something that you need to do in order to beat a 10Q or a 9Q? Sorry. Sorry. The goal was to play a 10Q. That was the goal initially. This is fine too. Um, we took the stone. Ah, uh, there might be there might be stuff here. Sure. Might be like an Atari to an Atari, and it's like my own cutting point being a problem. So okay. Hane, he can't hane back. Uh, now the Atari works. That's actually one that I should probably I should probably take advantage of. Yeah, that one that I'm, that one I'm hitting, because that's a DDK thing that we try to ruthlessly crush from uh, players. Like this is probably not DDK level L and D. So this, however, is this, however, is. He can Atari me, take, retake. He should have retaked. <laughs> and he takes. So <laughs> I play here, 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 into here. Ah, oh, that went down the wrong way. Huh. <laughs> I'll. Test him. It disconnected you. You gotta know this is a, a must, right? Mind your kid. Oh, swing and a miss. But here we don't do strikes. We just rip your face off. Been playing Divinity. Um, to Original Sin as an undead that rips people's faces off and wears it because otherwise it makes people nervous because, you know, if you're undead uh, people kind of get like evil zombie vibes from you. They kind of want to kill you. So you rip someone's face off and you wear it and that way you look like a mortal and it makes them comfortable again. And here, I gotta say, I'm getting those face ripper vibes. Getting those face ripper vibes here. Like, oh, this isn't alive. It's not alive. I want to do it. I want to do it, sir. Send me in. We're ready. Won't let you down, sir. Won't let you down. But oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Not ripping faces off. We ain't ripping the faces. A really big mistake though. Let's go and gently push my uh, lovely opponent here into perhaps a connection. Intriguing. Not playing H2 is a weird, weird, weird oversight. Um. I don't want to play it so badly. Uh, it's fine. We won't kill him. I didn't want to kill him in the first place. Copium. Let's do some end game. I wonder if he knows that I've backed off from him repeatedly. 
You should know. You should know this is DDK. Finally, thank you. Oh, by the way, I think you're dead in the middle. I'm sorry, this cut works now. Oh god, the cut works. Shh, 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 shh. It's fine, it's fine. Doesn't matter, it's a secret, it's a secret, sir, it's a secret. State secret, we can't tell anyone, we can't tell anyone. Everyone, your lips are sealed, okay? Don't want anyone giving away state secrets. Like, yeah, this works, this works, I know. Good endgame. You could do uh, an A5 or two. You can play a B18 as well. <laughs> I'm not going to kill it, but yeah, that's because if Yutari is this way, he dies. If Yutari is this way, he dies too. So it's... Gotta protect because Atari, double Atari eventually. All right. Oh, I should have played the this one first. Nope. I'll ignore you. I'm flat out ignoring you if you play there again. Why am I ignoring? He cuts here, right? And uh, I'm dead. Never mind. We're not ignoring. I have a new plan, chat. Let's not ignore. Because if I tarry this way, I tarry is into a thing. I can take here, though. Are you Zehn, reading? Nine, acht, sieben, six, yes. Fünf. You got a problem with it? I mean, I could have played another move instead. But if I defend here, he plays here, I lose this liberty. I had to take here anyway. I better take this one now and then... That way I don't have to defend twice. I lose a point that way. To be fair, the game isn't one point. Uh, difference, so. This was a huge turn. Three-pointer. Make that two. Because there's this one and then this one. Passen. Bum, 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 bum. Tote Steine entfernen. All right. About 40 points up. 47.5. Spielbesprechung gestartet. Um, so, problem number one is obviously cut works. Because that is a death there, and that is a death there. So the corner is just dead. Um, when I played here, we needed to go ahead and back off to a more defensive shape. That would have been, that would have been good. Um, so yeah, that, 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 that's actually really big. This is also big because I need to go and defend versus that before playing the defense. Whoops. Um, but yeah, from the beginning of the game, no reason not to go ahead and make this Draseki. That way we get nice uh, corner territory and we're all settling. This is kind of weird because it's kind of like this. So from here, we need to make sure the same thing. If we're going to play this one, we need to play there into a basey base. So yeah, this is really awkward. You can go ahead and do this into this, into this one, I suppose. Slightly better. That is now dead. So we need to make sure we don't play that and descend. Gotta watch liberties, gotta watch liberties. Um, Jaseki here is the Hane into the one point extension. That is the Joe uh, at that point, ideally I'd play this one, this one, this one, into there. 
That way I've got uh, good influence or good uh, development here. This is getting very, very weird with all these extensions. Being able to turn here is really, really huge. Um... I'd go jump. White's not alive yet. So if White's playing this way, then we're getting a full surround on White's group, which is fantastic. If we don't, then it's just, I'm out. So I'm not under pressure anymore. If I'm threatened to be surrounded, then I'm under a lot of attack. Um, big move here. This turn is really, really large. Shoulder hit would be kind of nice. Like, I still might attack, but I think it'll be fine. The area is open enough that we should be able to make enough shape here off of the shoulder hit to really get in some good reductions. Because, like, here, yeah, I can go ahead and play away. Because this doesn't work. Right? That turn is so large. I think this is the end of the game. I think this is pretty much the end of the game. And we need, whoops. We need a much, much faster move. Because when you played here, it's like, I can play this one into here. And that's just way too much territory. Because now we're on the bigly lines. Getting six lines of territory per move. Ooh, ooh. Same thing here. This turn is so, so big. And then just maybe another big middle, uh, middly mover. Little middly mover here. Make sure we can't give all this to white. Start disrupting. I like shape a little better. Gotta be careful here, because again, there's threats to kill. Hmm. Pushing in from here could be a thing. Essentially, we're looking for forcing to get in, so Hane for forcing, and then Lean for forcing. If we start something completely brand new, we get to attack. Like, even if I do something like this, I don't think this connects to anything. So this has to completely live, right? And that's really, really tough. And then here, I'm pretty sure he's dead. This is tough. This is tough because we can't play here because I'd play this one immediately. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a kill. That's not looking so great. Um. Yeah, this is the danger of starting starting something completely brand new. You know. Get out of here and just like connect the heck up immediately. The minute he played this way, then these stones are essentially now dead. Those stones are now toast. They're dead, sir. They're dead. They're dead. And then here, same thing. That's now a bunch of dead stones again. Here, I need an answer. By playing here, I can go ahead and cut the small knight. And then from here, we either connect back or we go ahead and just go ahead and put this way. So once again, dead stones. 
Gotta watch those cuts. Gotta watch those cuts. So here we kind of fixed. And I think that's about it for the game. I think that's about it for the game. Either way, thanks for the game. And I will see y'all next time. We'll probably step it up to some five QE times. I also want to hit up some uh, Pandanet. I want to hit up some Pandanet. I haven't been on Pandanet in a long, 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 long time. So lots of good games coming at you. See you next time. Hope you're enjoying the series. Hope you're having a fantastic start of 2023. And for those of you who feel like uh, making a bold decision, and I'm not talking about my 2000 tier Patreon, those of you making a bold decision, maybe get done by the end of the year. Good luck to you if you decide to make that a resolution. See you next time, everybody.